What's up guys? Here we go again. Car talk. The topic of the day. What do I eat in a day? I get this question a lot. Dolce, what do you eat? How do you eat, Dolce? How do you fuel yourself? What's your day like? What's your lifestyle like? Well, let me tell you. I'll do another video where we actually break down the recipes and you can follow me along. That's going to be a fun one. I'm looking forward to that. But today, I just want to chat with you and I think you can take away some really good insights as to how you can implement my strategy into your own life. When I go through my day, I am fueled. I feel awesome. I feel lean. I feel light. I feel strong. I feel energized. I feel completely satisfied with every meal I take in. But I don't feel heavy. I don't feel bloated. I don't feel gross. Ever. I always feel awesome. I never feel like I've eaten too much food nor do I feel like I haven't eaten enough food. And that's a problem, right? Walking around, starving all day. Oh my God, life is miserable. Much more prone to binge and eat. Ah. Or oh, if you feel so overwhelmed, you've overeaten, you feel gross, you feel sluggish. All the self-loathing kicks in. You feel like a terrible human being. You wind up missing meals because you just haven't digested the sludge that you dumped into your body. I don't go through any of that, none of that. So what do I eat in a day? Well, when I first wake up, the most important thing is hydration. And I would strongly recommend to you also, when you wake up, you wanna drink 16 to 32 ounces of room temperature water. Now, some of you are like, wow, that's so much water. Let me tell you, when you wake up first thing in the morning, you are dehydrated. You are severely dehydrated first thing in the morning. People don't realize this, especially those who wake up and go straight to the gym. You're training in a dehydrated state. Not awesome, not ideal. But for those of us that we just get up and we start our process, I got two kids, right? I got a four-year-old and a two-year-old. We got, we got school stuff going on. We got diapers to change. And we got just all the, the makings of a happy family day going on. Plus, all of my business and all of my training and all the other things I got going on. I'm busy. You're busy. We're busy people. So within that first probably... 15 minutes of me being awake, I'm slugging down 32 ounces of room temperature water. That's me, I built up to that. Eight ounces, 16 ounces, 32 ounces, build that up. Now, depending on the day, some days I just get out, I walk out the front door, I hit my list, low intensity, steady state cardiovascular activity. Other days, I'll just go down to my gym and I'll hit the pre-core. I got an elliptical machine down there. It's pretty awesome, I'll hit that. Usually I like to do something exercise oriented, but it's not always, it's not every single day. So I'm just gonna talk about the straight meals here. I get my 32 ounces of water. From there, I shoot down my breakfast bowl. The breakfast bowl takes me less than two minutes to make. It takes me only as long as it takes for the water to boil. And we have a beautiful ceramic kettle. I think it's a Batelli kettle in my kitchen. It's awesome. Click that bad boy on when I walk downstairs. The water boils, ready to go. I scoop out my oats. So I typically consume oat bran. That's my favorite. Oat bran, whole oats, rolled oats, no problem. Some days even the quick oats, which the kids eat mostly. I'll get my oats, chia seeds, hemp seeds, raisins. We always have fresh berries in my house. Usually blueberries. I like blueberries in my breakfast bowl, but sometimes I'll throw in some raspberries and strawberries. I just don't want to cut the strawberries. I'm a little lazy first thing in the morning. So again, the breakfast bowl, oats, chia seeds, hemp seeds, blueberries, raisins. I'll throw a sprinkle of cinnamon in there, maybe some coconut flakes, um, a, a dollop of almond butter or peanut butter, and I'm good to go. From there, I'll start getting out and getting after my day. Now, if I have some banana in my breakfast bowl, I won't have banana usually later on in the day unless I'm hitting a super heavy workout. My next snack is gonna be something that's fruit and nut oriented. Usually, I have a trail mix 
with me. I don't have it in the truck right now. It's at the office. I usually have a trail mix with me. I'll usually grab a handful or so of that and I'll have maybe an apple or a pear or a nectarine, something, some sort of tree fruit typically is with me. I'll down that. Next meal is typically some sort of either egg or fish, which I really like. It's light, it digests very well, it gives me all the energy I need. So I might get like a four ounce cut of a wild caught salmon. Uh, I might go to this little sushi shop around town. Um, you know, there's a few different ways to go and get it done. Or I'll do the egg deal. So I'll, I'll get some, usually right now I'm doing two whole eggs plus four whites. So I'll do my whole, you know, egg meal and a shit ton shit ton of veggies. Now, I don't typically go carb heavy on this third meal because this is my third meal. I typically don't go carb heavy on, on this third meal. Lots of, now not to say that all the plants don't have carbs, of course they do, but I'm not going super complex carbs. I'm not going oats or rice or quinoa or breads or potatoes or things like that at this third meal. I'll usually do, again, a piece of fish or a few eggs and a bunch of veggies. So like the fish I'll usually do with a salad, the eggs I'll usually do in some sort of scramble or omelet. A couple hours later, two, three hours later, it's pre-gym time for me. Now usually what I've been doing is I've been going to the juice shop and I've been getting a cold pressed beet juice. Love it. Love it. This has been shooting my energy through the roof for these harder workouts. You can tell I've been adding some muscle lately. So I've been hitting the gym hard as hell and that little shot of beet juice gets my energy up. I'll bang a beet juice, then I'll sip on a, a bit of a, a black espresso as I'm walking into the gym, I'm good to go. On the super hard A-type training phases, I'll also shoot down 20 grams of a whey protein isolate. Immediately after the gym, I'll likely shoot down right now, but not always, another 20 grams of a whey protein isolate. And also I'll have 12 ounces of coconut water mixed with a cup of blueberries, maybe a little piece of ripe banana if I really wanna get my sugar up. Otherwise, I'm good. That'll get me home. I'll sip on that on the drive home. And then when I get home, I have a traditional uh, mom's meal, I like to call it. I'll have, you know, four to six ounces of chicken, of fish, of a lean ground beef, um, turkey maybe, you know, we'll make a turkey burger. I'll have like half a cup of rice or quinoa, maybe a potato, baked potato, and a shit ton of veggies. Usually, I have more veggies I mean, I have like two plates worth of veggies. Whoa. Um, so that's dinner. And then dessert. Dessert, we usually do something sweet in my house. But something sweet is typically, it's always homemade, which is awesome. So we're big on baked apples. We'll throw a big tray of apples in, you know, when we're cooking dinner or just after dinner. We'll throw a tray of apples in, sprinkle some cinnamon, drizzle, drizzle some raw local honey on there. And the apples just sit and they're ready to go for dessert. A lot of people miss out on that. You know, usually we'll serve that with, uh, I'll have, you know, an apple or two at night when I'm Netflix and chilling. I'll chomp on that with a little bit of almond butter on the side. Sometimes I do applesauce. Oh, it's so good. Applesauce and a little almond butter. If you have a sweet tooth, guys and gals, and you have just a little bit of discipline, this completely cures it. Half a cup of applesauce, a tablespoon or two of almond butter, I'm good to go. No crave. Sometimes I'll grab some of those golden grapes from the freezer, the frozen grapes that I've talked about before, red grapes, red seedless grapes, washed, plucked, thrown into a Ziploc bag, you chuck them in your freezer. When you have that sugar crave, all you need to do is put them into a little coffee cup, go sit back down on your couch and chomp away. What else do we sometimes do? Now sometimes, if I'm feeling naughty, creep on into the kitchen. I'll open up the cabinet. 
I'll pull out sprouted grain bread and almond butter and maybe I'll slice up a few strawberries or banana depending on the day. Sometimes, I think it's Maranathan, grab some of that Maranathan chocolate hazelnut butter, toast up the sprouted grain bread, spread everything on there. Ooh, it's so delicious. It's like cake, crunchy, soft, warm, gooey, oozy, just enough sweet. It's delicious. Um, so we have some fun. Now, all of these recipes are in Living Lean Cookbook Volume 2. If you guys care about any of that, if you're looking for more recipes, all these recipes are a part of our online program at thedolcediet.com. Um, Dolce Tube, you can use that promo code at any time, save 10%. That's what I eat in the day. That's what I eat in a general day. I mean, there's a little bit of, of, of flex here or there. I go out to a restaurant, cafe, I'll make an audible, but I'll eat something very similar. What we call is lean, green, and clean. And this is a little, this is bonus. You ready? Bonus. Bonus video. Bonus, 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 bonus info. When you're out on the road, when you're traveling, when you don't have the meal with you, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Lean, green, and clean, ladies and gentlemen. Lean, green, and clean. Lean proteins, green vegetables, clean burning carbohydrates. Sauces and seasonings on the side. That's what I do. I travel the world all the time. I'm always, every week I'm, I'm somewhere. Somewhere not in my kitchen. Lean, green, and clean. I can go anywhere on the planet. I can order using lean, green, and clean. And I can stay compliant to my goals, to my health. I can be fueled. I can be fed. I can feel absolutely amazing. I can keep making gains. I can be satiated. I can be happy. Lean, green, and clean. Lean proteins, green vegetables, clean burning carbohydrates. And if you think about all the meals, all the meals that I just said, they all follow that basic criteria of lean, green, and clean. So that's it, that's what I eat in a day. That's what I've eaten so far today. That's what I will continue to eat throughout the day. So if you appreciate this video, subscribe to that channel right there. Click on that little bell for notifications and give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. I would greatly appreciate that. One of you will win another $100 gift card this week. Last week, Dave B won the $100 Amazon gift card um, from being the most um, prolific poster inside our comment section and this is just for the person who contributes most to the comment section you don't have to leave the most comments they don't have to be the wittiest the funniest the most probing questions but whoever contributes the most to the comment section well you're going to win a 100 gift card this week i appreciate you guys for being here until next time boom